Hello everyone watching, my name is Joshua and um, today I'm going to be putting you through how to create, how to convert your own images to um, um, Adobe Character Animator Puppet. So uh, this is at the end of this tutorial, you should be able to create something like this, what you actually see me on the screen. So i'm going to be diving into it but i i won't be it won't be real time i'll be um <clears throat> sorry uh, i'll be speeding through most of the process but um i will be explaining also so um, you do not get lost the process is basically um, it's just from drawing i do prefer people other people prefer using and software and using Photoshop but I prefer using um, Adobe Illustrator because it's vector based and then um, um, I can um, I can um, up, up, I can scale up the um, it's non-destructive sort of I can scale up the character and um, scale down the character and not lose any quality at least in Adobe Illustrator um, it's there are so many reasons I, I'll be breaking some of them down in this um, tutorial so I'm just going to jump into it so what I do use most of the time is the isolation tool I do know I know I believe there is a um, there is a version of that in Photoshop but um, that's one of the reasons I love Adobe Illustrator because of its um, um, and some of the features such as the isolation mode and and um, um, the fact that they are certain okay I, I will just keep on going with this tutorial and, I, and eventually I'll be able to explain some of the other features that makes me that, that made me choose Adobe Illustrator that, that makes me choose Adobe Illustrator over Photoshop so I'm just going to speed through some of this part now this is uh, basically I'm just um, sketching out the character from the image so you're not supposed to directly um, trace the character because it, it will give you that it will give you that realistic look which is not if that is what you're going for that is fine but that is not what I'm going for I'm going for the more cartoony kind of look so it not directly trace through the character so okay so um i'm basically sk sketching out um, um the face of the character using the image as reference so um Okay. One thing you notice about um, the way um, do I create my characters is I do in as much as the ear won't be showing and um, the ear won't be displaying for this character. I still went on to draw this because um, sometimes I add physics to the hair and um, when the hair moves, like when the character moves, the hair moves along with the character and it's just uh, better for something to be visible there like um, the ear to be visible just in case so um i'm done sketching the face so um, now i'm just going to I, I believe i'll be sketching the the torso the torso of the character okay this is another feature i love about um, another thing i love about um, adobe illustrator the you, you see with Photoshop of course you can use the same um, okay like now I do have um, a, um, I've created so many characters so whenever I want to create a character that is similar to another character I create I create I've created before what I do is I just um, 
open up that character save it as uh, with a new name and then now i draw over that character um, just um, and then I, I could if i place everything at the right folder like the torso the torso that i'm drawing now if i place it in the torso in that same character i do not have to rig the character from scratch when I'm in um, Adobe, uh, sorry, Adobe Character Animator, I do not have to um, rig that character from scratch. I could just um, replace that um, that uh, file. I, I would explain further when I get to that point. In as much as for the sake of tutorial, for for the sake of this tutorial, I am going to be um, rigging the character from scratch. But I'll just show you an instance that um, you could do that that could come in handy especially for someone like me that creates lots and lots of characters every day so it, it is important for me to be able to at least save some time with certain things so one one good time saver it is uh, the hand okay i do cre i create characters but i do not all my characters most of my characters do not rely on um, the the um, the uh, Adobe uh, character animator draggers. I do not like using the draggers. I prefer um, creating a cycle trigger for the hands, so I do not have. So I, I don't have to worry myself about. I do not have to start going back and then um, um, dragging and whatever just to get a particular. They say just uh, just to get a particular uh, uh, just to get the hand in a particular position what i do is i just use cycle triggers so i draw all the um, the hand positions that i need and after that um all i do is um, I just use the buttons i configure it to my buttons and then i use that okay but now the problem is not all characters are the same so some characters hands might be might you might need to make the hand smaller or maybe the character should have a long sleeve and clothes or a short sleeve or um, the character should have um, a wristwatch or just different things so in that case since <coughs> <coughs> sorry <coughs> since you are creating um, the hand you are creating the hand triggers yeah sorry guys you are animating the hand uh, with uh, cycle triggers one might be tempted to redraw all these things all over again like just for just just that one um, simple change you have to start redrawing the entire thing all over again but i do have um um, um a workaround for that and it only applies to adobe illustrator i don't know if that feature is available in photoshop but um, um it illustrator and i'll be showing you how i do that so I do not redraw the hands all over again. What I just do is, I am um, okay. Maybe maybe when I get to that po that portion of the video, I will explain further. I'm just trying to to lay down the um 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 just lay down a foundation for you to be able to <coughs> understand how I create my own characters. So. This video was actually normally I do not like uh, making tutorial videos, but um, I, because it takes a lot of time and um, 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 to an extent my channel is a bit um, the channel hasn't grown to the point that it makes so much sense for me to be creating tutorials. But I've been I, I, so many people have requested for it so it's better to just do it and eventually just um if i get more subscribers please subscribe to this channel to really really help eventually when the channel grows to a point uh, i might actually go um into um, tutorials fully there's so there's so much to actually um, um teach so much to learn like um especially for this tutorial now you see that there are certain things that um in as much as i'm going to be explaining what i did there but there are certain things i do not redo i just um, replace so um some of those things you are if you go to the site you should be able to find um, this thing 
um, um, find those um, files for you to use in your own your own uh, your own um, your own uh, for your own characters so what i'm doing now i'm done with sketching the torso and the face so i'm just going through and actually laying down the actual line that's um, the 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 line work for the for the character so if you notice there's something i drew behind there are so many lines overlaying and i know it's confusing to a point but it, it just stay with me a little while it, i when i'm creating when i'm making the, the the legs i i i prefer um I, I normally other people will just create just the leg just in one layer and then just make just fuse them together what i do is i separate the from the knee to the uh, ankle i separate that from the from the um, torso to the um, knee i separate that and then in some cases i do separate the shoes just so this things when when you come to uh, animating and maybe you want to change this um, these props and all this stuff like this you can you can just um, you do not have to start redrawing the entire leg you could just replace just the shoe or just the torso <coughs> my apologies so um okay um this is a good time to save so i'm saving it with the name the um the the person requested for this character told me to um so uh, okay what you are seeing behind her it's easy shoulders I, the way i draw my characters is i prefer to to um, separate some parts you do not have to follow my um this and just understand the principle behind it the i separate um, the shoulders but the shoulders is placed behind the the, the body of the character because there's this there's space in between the and the in between the chest and the and the and the the shoulder sorry so now i'm working on the face i'm tracing just basically tracing the the sketch so let me start explaining what i will do to the what i did to the eyes okay you do not have to follow that you could just easily um, create just one one um, one one layer for just for the eye blink but i do prefer my character i, I like when um, the, the blinking is a bit natural like um the it moves from from one level to the next like that so i make her blinking or any of my character i make their blinking into a cycle trigger at least uh, of at least three layers so i make the eye fully open and then it closes gradually and gradually and gradually till it's completely closed and then i put them into i put them as a blink and then add in an auto blink that is that that you add that in um, adobe um, uh, character animator not in adobe illustrator well, that's just basically it. I have this in mind the props, shelly glasses, like that. You're supposed to separate that, don't fuse it into the character, it, it won't, it, it, it doesn't help. And it's also an advantage for you for you if you do not um, fuse it into the character so just in case you want the character to take off the glasses and maybe the character to stay without glasses or you want to um, put in a different class you do not have to start redrawing the face all over again so just make that separate and now I'm working on the this is the iris I I fuse both iris together some people separate that stay fine but I put them together so now I'm drawing the the eyes the wider eyes the first one i drew was the natural um, the position that's the default position where the eyes just open but now the uh, the second i made it wide and then now i'm reducing you see gradually it keeps i keep reducing it and on up until the eye closes so each of this is placed in a separate layer 
and then this could be used in your animation you don't have to have a character with eyes wide open and then just blink no you could put those in between and it helps to um it helps to instantiate the the character and uh, the character's um, emotion so let's say the character wants to like um let's say the, the character is unhappy or scared or something like that the eyes a bit closed it's not wide open and then the brow is scared no you do not do that like that so when you're animating you just you could use um uh, maybe two thought that's uh, maybe um um well it's based on how you layer it but in my own case i'm layer i layered it um the white i layered it white default two third one third and then close so you could use two third or one third even close so now um i want to start coloring so there's um i i have to close the um the layers just it has to be closed if not it, and when you use the paint bucket tool it won't it won't, it won't be able to to paint over that uh, layer because there's no closing so i'm just closing all those uh, openings in the uh, in the drawing in in, the, in each layer so i picked the hair color from the character uh, sorry from the image and then colored it the um there's a hair in front of her and then the hair behind her so we just take note of that and then um okay the the face i call that the face fat but and um, those foldings and um those foldings in the face um i put them in a separate layer too you do not have to but i do put them in a separate layer just in case i need to animate it sometime or i need to change it or do certain things and in some cases i bake them into some of the facial emotions like <coughs> Like when she's sad or when she's angry or even when she's talking sometimes i make the the, the cheek i make the cheek move so just put that in mind too so right now i'm not concerned about how each layer where each layer falls i'm mostly concerned about i'm just painting right now i've not started layering it but when i come to that what am i what i will end up doing is i'll use a previously made character and then i'll i'll place the the objects in the right position in the right layers i will start placing them in, in their rightful layers instead of instead of creating um, these layers all over again i already have a character so i just drag and drop it into each layer so that's basically it. so right now that's what i'm doing <coughs> dragging the I, I think i dragged the leg yeah, was it the legs i think it was um and then the hair as the hair behind and then um, what you need to do if you you do not have to you you could layer it yourself you go through the rigor of layering it it's just because i need to deliver this character that is why i chose to um, just do this as fast as i can so um but if you want to follow the same method like you want to use an already made character and uh, characters layers you could just go to the link in the description and grab one of the characters and then you should be able to um, um, follow this tutorial so you could follow this tutorial without let me just explain what 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 is in each character the hands the okay maybe I'll make a separate video that um, that will explain this further and maybe create a character from scratch to the end but for now you could just follow what you see yeah, well, um this is the glasses so i'm trying to add in the um, the the the, <coughs> the glasses make it white and then reduces opacity so that is see-through so that it gives it that look of um, 
and trans and transparency that that glass look kind of you could go further and draw lines on it just to make it look like there's a, there's a reflection on the glasses but i will not be doing that in this video um so what i'm doing now i'm dragging all the eyes and dragging the eyes to their appropriate uh, layers in <coughs> within the character the already made character Okay, it, it should be worth knowing that um, this character, I made this character, it took me, uh, I think it took me 1 hour 30 minutes to, to fully make this character. And <coughs> Normally it takes me a lot, lot a lot, um, it takes me around that kind of, in some cases, up to probably 30 minutes but for the sake of this tutorial i had to do um, i had to get rid of some of, some of the shortcuts i used to use so just so that um, you get the whole the whole um, so you understand the tutorial more if i just go through it just breeze through it how i used to create other characters you may get lost you definitely will get lost considering that my my um, my my method my system of creating characters is a bit different now this is for the hands each of these hands that you're seeing here is um a, is it's um what is it called is it part okay let me explain i drew the hands and then selected it and made it into a part so everything you see there the hand you're seeing there is not actually a vector it is vector but it's not actually drawn <coughs> it's instancing a drawn um each of each of the hands you're seeing is instancing like right now i drew this particular hand you see it now I'm, I'm expanding it i'm expanding it and um, i'm going to use this as an instance and then create it make it into a part so that a part with just two just two anchor points so i do not have to redraw this hand or try to manipulate this hand this this um, hand with with plenty anchor point so yes now i'm going to draw it draw this is this is a sketch actually i'm going to draw after this so i'm just picking the measurements so i could get the hand and everything because i i'm i i widened it so there's no way i'll be able to tell and um, the size that is the reason why i had to use that line and now uh, you draw it I understand it's a bit confusing but just follow you draw it you sketch it and then you draw it you do not have to do any you, you can just go straight and draw it so <coughs> <coughs> you make sure you separate the upper hand from the lower hand and then you draw them separately and you draw them having a mind that each is supposed to connect to each other so that is if that is what you should put that in your mind that each yeah, the lower hand is supposed to be able to connect to the upper hand and not without space there shouldn't be space in between them so now i block it and um, sorry uh, i'm blocking it so that i can use the paint pocket tool and then uh, make it make the line transparent so uh, yeah you don't have to worry about coloring it so now i'm going to paint 
now this is the method that you use to create hands but this is extremely extremely suffocating imagine doing this over and over and over for in some cases in my character so this is what i do i turn it into a brush i turn it into a brush and then i use the brush so already each of these is a bit fast so as you can see it's just one line each of the 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 upper hand is one line the lower hand is now one line because it's instancing that one that i drew it's not that i'm not drawing redrawing this and redrawing this so it's easy to manipulate a whole of the to the the all of the hands i can manipulate all of the hands at once i do not have to do them one after the other this if, you, if i actually will do a tutorial just for this because this is a this is a serious time saver for whoever wants to be creating characters especially characters with plenty of um, hand triggers this will save you a lot of time because i can change the the, the hand into you see like i just i just did i just this hand initially did not have um um did not have um sleeves it was short sleeves it didn't have sleeves at all but i was able to put hands which with, with sleeves just with few clicks as you can see i'm doing it with few clicks so i'm going to make a separate tutorial for this to further explain this but one thing you just need to understand is it it uh, 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 this this will help you. You will be able to change the col change colors of the whole card, the and the all the hands at once. You should be able to change the entire hand at once, like that. So, just have that in mind. Okay, so going further. <sighs> yes. So sometimes after doing this, the hand tends to to shift a little. So you can just come and adjust it so you can see it's just two anchor points that you're adjusting so it's not stressful at all you just go through and then you check it make sure everything is aligned correctly In fact, there was a period that <laughs> there was a period I used this method, this uh, method to animate the whole character. So I made the character bend and do so many. Like, I don't know if I still have the file, but if I can find it, I'll, I I will upload it on the channel just so you see. So you, you could use this for this is uh, this is not the only thing I use this method. This um um this method for i use it for so many other things if as in some cases i use it for the, the torso of the character or the legs of the character and other stuff so just have that in mind this is actually time saver to be a time saver for you know, for you okay so <sighs> Now I believe I'm done with the hands. I'm scaling it to the appropriate size and 120 is the best for this particular uh, character the size of the character so you just place it 120 is the best yes exactly so hey. okay. 
you know, I'm just manipulating it to fit the that's for the, the shoulders, the one place behind. Just manipulating it with the puppet to to make it fit. So I believe this character is as good as it. Some from time to time, I, I, I obviously come back to Illustrator to fix some things because um, there might be some things that I missed. So you just have to be checking up and playing the same. So let's now go into the the rigging aspect of this video. <sighs> My apologies. I'm, I'm a bit tired, honestly. Um, okay. Okay, now, as you can see, there are so many characters I created, but um, there is a character I used as reference to to work on this particular one. So that uh, yes i could just drag the, the 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 character and then replace replace the 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 ai file and like like that the character should be fully functional like with all the triggers that are present because we used it as a reference all the triggers are present but sometimes it breaks like this is exactly what i was talking about sometimes it breaks like this and you might have to adjust certain things you might have to adjust it manually but in most of the cases if you just come to the um, um auto sync with um uh, auto sync like you turn it on and turn it off uh, sorry turn it off and then on it should fix it but now let me just i'm going to be creating this and uh, rigging this character from scratch so i do not have to use that method so you drag in the dot ai file and then you drag it to your timeline then wait for it to load now the character is loaded but without triggers without um oh shit okay my apologies <laughs> i actually thought it was not recording but it was so um you open the rig panel and then i normally start with the face because the face is extremely important is the most important part of your character in fact it, i've seen animation where it's just a face that moves and so he it, is where everybody's attention is drawn towards especially when the character is talking so you have to start with the face and make sure you get it right uh, what i'm doing now is the iris um i'm uh, configuring it to the iris on the the tax panel <coughs> And then add a dragger so so that you should be able to manipulate it even without your camera you should be able to manipulate it with your, with your key now um all the eyes that's the eyes that i created the wide default two two three one three uh, close and then blink drag it to the um trigger panel so that um you want you can configure it to keys or it will be able to show it will now show on your trigger panel um the blink um okay I, I believe i added auto blink yes that's what i was trying to add added auto blink and um, it doesn't come it doesn't come with it uh, it's not a default um it's not one of the default um behavior so you have to add that manually auto blink and then i added walk because walk in some cases i don't know in some cases you see that it's auto is auto it's automatically added but in this case it wasn't so just ensure that uh, um, a work is there and then you make sure that the work is um, set to your arrow keys and then now i dragged in the eyebrow and then i'm configuring it to keys so i configure the eyebrows normally to one two three four five six up to nine and then i use zero for blink and that is what i did here so as you can see it's not large the eyes are not large and that is one thing i okay i had to do yes you have to latch it just so, so that it, you just press it once you do not have to press and hold 
that's what uh, that latch if you do not latch it you have to press and hold so now um uh, i have to add a behavior to it to it i have to have a psych cycle behavior a cycle behavior because these the the brows are actually um cycle triggers so you have to add a cycle behavior and then i be, i like using two frames because it gives it that cartoony kind of and this thing like i'm animating in twos so use two and then make sure you set it on um um it should stop at the the last frame and then you should be able to reverse i forgot what this call is there so just, just make sure that is there and um, listen so what i'm doing now with the face is um, i want the jaw to be moving as the mouth is as the, um, the character is talking so you is that what i was doing no 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 sorry i'm trying to add physics to the hair <coughs> <coughs> sorry man in physics to the hair so you 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 look for a position that you don't want to move then you fix it and then you use dangles for the the position the places you want to um to dangle same with the back hair you add dangles then you fix the part you do not want to move so basically it's straightforward um, what what time is in this video okay <clears throat> and now i'm done with the face not completely done because i, I did miss something so now i'm adding the waist and then you make sure the waist you add the drag at there so you can manipulate her waist the your character's waist so now to the legs <coughs> my character is both legs are leg B, which is not supposed to be so. So uh, initially I had leg A and leg B, and I think I duplicated it at one point. And uh, since the reference character now, I just go with leg B and leg B and leg B to like that. So yeah, it's still fine. It doesn't matter. You do not all those. Uh, so far as you can identify which is which, it's fine. You, you make it independent, and then you drag the the um, the origin. You drag it to the position you want to be like the the joint so you drag it to that and then uh, to make the if you this is not um, necessary you don't have to use your the stick tool if you especially if you want the character's leg to be like rubber hose kind of legs those legs that um that be flexible that bends so you do not have to use but this will actually make the the it, it will add in a bone and make it uh, make the the leg moves move move as a straight uh, straight legs you make leg straight yeah as i said make the leg straight so this is quite straightforward i believe um so you just add in the points for the ankle for the the heel and then for the toe and then for the knee that's it so basically again you add in a draggable for the knee you do not have to but i do so just so i can manipulate that too and now i'm going to the arm as you can see the arms are cycle triggers so you have to latch them and then you add them and then I configure I normally configure them to the the arm A that's the, the, the first arm that you are seeing the, the most visible arm I normally use the Q W E R T the quarter the top keys I use it for I use um, that for the 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 arm A that's the the first hand 
and then for the and b you do the same thing you latch it and then i come i normally configure it to the the key just below a s d f g h like that you configure that so that <coughs> you can combine both at the same time while animating and you could do this live without um recording and recording and recording and recording over and over like that so you could do this live so i do have especially when the hand is going above the the second arm that's the arm b if it's going above the body because that is actually normally behind the body if it's going above the body you create a new layer I'm going to do a it's going to be a different tutorial for this but you make a new layer just above the body and then you get rid of the shoulders and then just the, the hand that goes above the body and then you configure it to the same layer on the same uh, trigger panel i know this is confusing but he, he, um, don't worry i'll cover it again in my next tutorials and um, i'll make a special tutorial for just that so for the hand um, i want the default hand to be able to to be moving initially when the character is walking when as the walk circle so now you have to configure each joints to the hands so you use the the shoulders like the shoulders the the um the what is it called the wrist and like that so you have to configure it correctly to um the correct hands it should be good in some cases i go as far as i do add them um, draggers for the the right wrist the left wrist the I, I do add I do add that just so I can manipulate the work of the character but well, you do not have to do that I, you could manipulate the work of the character not all character works with their hands straight down so there are some characters that work like if you want to add certain kind of um, um, what is it called a kind of feature for for the for the for the way in particular like you want to make the characters work to be a bit different from other characters and a bit unique so you could do that so um as you can see the uh, is working basically fine the that is <coughs> <coughs> the um cycle trigger is working fine that's for the hands well i noticed um something so i'm just going to go in and fix it um the the layer is starting from the from the down not from this is uh, not from the top so what i'm just going to do is i'm just going to reverse the order so just basically it's just simple you just reverse the order because it's starting um from the from the from the top from from below sorry Normally, when I whenever I'm testing a character, I used to always forget to test the the mouth, the lip sync, just to ensure everything is fine in my head because um, uh, my lip sync is always it, it always works. So I think in my some my head in my head it's um, I stop worrying about it. So I just fix every other thing about the character and I just just go just go with my this and then i i know it i know that um, the mouth is going to work but for the sake of this tutorial i'm definitely going to be testing the mouth just so that you see how it works and especially with the jaw moving so um okay now the blink normally when the character blinks um the iris is supposed to disappear but it doesn't so that is the reason why you have to use the um you have to use yeah you have to mask it that was what i just did there so have that in mind as you can see now the character's eyes and the iris is, is um the the iris is being masked by the 
the eyes. This is another thing you need to just be, be cautious about. The, the character at the top level is supposed to be independent. It's not supposed to be... Um, it's supposed to be independent if it's not the characters the some part of the character will be warping so you just have that in mind too now the work the work is too much it's too much it's too too much so what you need to do is you have to this work <coughs> in some cases it's very handy but for this particular character the bit realistic you reduce the strength you drop it to 75 and 75 should be fine So, boom, that's fine. trying to center the origin so when the character because i use hinge on the character when i'm manipulating the the, the character it will it will know the origin point where it's supposed to to bend from so that's basically what i was doing there you can see the the um, knee that i configured that i added the dragger is draggable is working fine the the uh, eyebrow Visual um, emotion is working fine, so I'm trying to test the audio, drag the audio to the timeline, and then you lip sync from audio, sync audio, blah blah blah, like that. Okay, now uh, how to play it? You notice the body is moving, it's because the head is not independent, so it's, it's wiping the whole body, so you're supposed to come to the face then make that independent just the face not the whole head just the face so now it should be working fine boom please 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 this is the end of the video i believe please before you leave give us a like subscribe it will really really help us to make us it will encourage us to bring more tutorials that uh, would help you in your journey so for now thank you for watching and um, just check below check the description you should be able to see links that might help you so thank you for watching and okay i will actually be placing them out in the this is a in the description so you could grab this particular mount and use it for your own character so thank you for watching and bye for now